This video is to help students understand how to upload content to Got Learning via the web app and the mobile app. We are logged in as Kurt Moore, an eighth grade student enrolled in Ms. Watson's science class. In Kurt's record, we can see there are two conversations. One is an example of content inside of a conversation, and the second one is a place where we're going to practice. I'm gonna open up the first conversation. And we'll scroll back to the very beginning and see that you can drop in messages. This one happens to be from the teacher with a response, another message response from Kurt. Kurt has many different options of what kind of content that he can put into a conversation. You can use the Got Learning video to be able to record this is a, sample vi a quick video. You may also use just audio. Audio can be added to Got Learning quite the next item here is of a file. And this file here happens to be of a JPEG. Now you can upload multiple different kinds of files into Got Learning, and that includes PDF files, Word files, Excel, and other files like Apple Pages, and it will put it right into Got Learning. The second, uh, the next option here is being able to include links. This link happens to be to a YouTube video. And if you click on this, it will open up in another window. You also have the opportunity to make links to your LMS um, or to Khan Academy or other outside resources that you want to share, whether it be a TED Talk. You may also use the Got Learning mobile app to scan in handwritten work or things that you do not have in digital format that you want to include inside of a conversation. Let me go back to the conversation. The next option here is a Google as an example of a Google Doc that has been pulled in uh, via our Google Drive. If I click on the Google Doc, you'll see that it actually opens up inside of Got Learning, and you have all the editing features uh, that you want in regard to Google Docs, slides, and sheets. The last part of the conversation always gives the user the option to add things to the conversation. And this is the, the modal. We're going to practice using this modal in our conversation below. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And you'll notice that there are no conversations in, uh, or no messages in this conversation yet. So we'll go ahead and add a sample message. If we add a sample message, we can not only use bold and italicized, but we can also use bulleted items. or even numbered items if you need to. We'll go ahead and submit that. And our next thing to mirror what we did above is we created a video. So we open up the video. It'll use the video camera on your laptop or on your phone or your, uh, your tablet. Go ahead and click add a video and you have 90 seconds of video. If you'd like to record or put in a longer video into Got Learning, you're going to need to use uh, and use the use your phone, save it to your phone and upload the file or do the same on your tablet or laptop. We'll go ahead and add that video and we click submit. It'll upload the video to Got Learning. The next thing is we can also record audio. You want to have a quick audio response. You also have 90 seconds to do that here. We'll go ahead and add the audio link and that is added into the conversation. The next item that we want is we want to you upload a file. And these files, as I mentioned before, can be an image, a PDF, a Word file, or Excel files. This one here is we're going to grab that poster from NASA about Mars Explorers. And so now we have the Mars Explorer. The next item we want is we want to go ahead and upload or uh, put in a link to that video from YouTube, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that link, come back into the conversation, paste, say this is what I want, and submit. And Got Learning will go out and get the very beginnings of that convers uh, of that video and put a sample inside. The next thing that we did in uh, in the conversation above is to be able to scan information. And so we're going to jump over to the Got Learning mobile app on the left. I'm going to go ahead and sign in as Kurt. And I'm now 
in that sample conversation where I have all those things that I added before, I can see easily see inside of the conversation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the scan button, which is this button here. And it says, I wanna scan with the camera. And you can see I have a piece of paper right here and I'm gonna hold the piece of paper above. It'll scan the image in and say, is that okay? Now you could do, once you hit next, you can go to another page if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and say done. And you'll see that it, the item has been added to the conversation. And if I slide next to it, I can see that it has been added to the conversation. Now in the web app, we'll just close this window and open it back up and you'll see that that item has been scanned right in, into the conversation. You don't have to name it. You don't have to tell it where to go. You can only scan from the place. Uh, you can only put it where the place that you scanned it from. So we'll go back to the conversation. And the last thing that you can do is go to your Google Drive and click on Google Drive, share from your Google Drive, pick that file, and we'll go ahead and select that. And now when I submit it, it'll actually bring it into the conversation and I can open that Google Drive, uh, Google Doc right inside of Got Learning and go ahead and do my exit ticket. So if I wanna list as many occupations, I can choose to do this one here and I can start writing right here. So we'll go back to the conversation and so now you can see how easy it is to add information to a conversation. This ease is also duplicated inside of the mobile app where you can do messages, your audio and video, I'm sorry, your video and pictures, audio, upload files, links, and also scan. So that was a brief tour of the student view of Got Learning.